From St. Augustine, Florida, to his home in Los Angeles, Jeff Castellos pedaled in honor of his son, Pablo. We're gonna pedal for Pablo today. He planned the trip to celebrate Pablo beating a rare cancer that often strikes children. At some point in the spring, when we were nearing the finish of Pablo's chemotherapy treatment, and he was rocking, he was doing great. At some point, I had come up with the idea to ride across America uh, as a show of strength that my son had cancer, he kicked its butt, and now I'm gonna go and kick the butt out of the whole country on my bike. But his son didn't feed it. Pablo died in June, six days after his sixth birthday. You still have to do that ride, but, but now it's for a different reason. Castellaz is the founder of Danger Bird Records, a label in Los Angeles. He took his passion for music and cycling and used them to raise funds and awareness for pediatric cancer. Music was the soundtrack for his journey. Music has played a huge role in the journey of my entire life. We need somebody else to add some melody to all this business, you know, and to kind of help us along the way. He stopped in New Orleans, Marfa, Texas, Phoenix, Arizona, and finally, Los Angeles. Along the way, he pedaled to raise money for the Pavlov Foundation, a nonprofit he founded with his wife, Joanne. Its goal? to fight pediatric cancer globally and locally. Kids get cancer too, and it's not somebody else's problem. Cancer scares people. Nobody wants to look at it, especially when it's a little kid. Each day, he dedicated his ride to a child battling the disease. This is him right here. He also visited children's hospitals. It's hard to go into the cancer ward of a hospital in a major city and not notice that everybody that you see is overwhelmed. Castellas Foundation aims to help those families by raising money for pediatric cancer research, less invasive cancer treatments, and funding play areas in hospitals. We're gonna play a song tonight that was Pablo's favorite song in the whole wide world. On the last leg of the ride, Danger Bird organized a Pablo Foundation benefit concert in Hollywood. Band of Horses headlined. They were joined by Seawolf, Tom Morello, and the Black Rebel Motorcycle Club. Musicians weren't the foundation's only supporters. And I'm Lance Armstrong. It just blows me away how amazing people have been. Throughout the journey, Castellas blogged, starting the day his son was diagnosed in May of 2008 with a kidney tumor, a cancer that strikes 500 people a year. He continued through Pablo's treatment. Good evening from Del Rio, Texas. We're like three miles from the Mexican border. And after Pablo's death. I couldn't just write the news weather in sports. I couldn't just write, Pablo's temperature was 48 degrees today, and you know, he laughed. His blog, and eventually his ride, um, were a way for a father video, to grieve for his son. I'm hurt. I got rid of a lot of anger and a lot of hurt between St. Augustine, Florida and Griffith Park. I would start weeping. I would look down and my, my top tube on my bike would be covered with the stuff that happens when we cry. And that was part of the process for me. My dad's on the pool. Pablo was my best friend. He was my son, but he was also very inspiring to me. 30 days and more than 3,000 miles later, Castellas pedaled home to Los Angeles passing the place where he and his family fought to save Pablo. These guys inside this building save kids' lives every day. Jeff returned later that week to the hospital that cared for his dying son to help other children with cancer. I'm heartbroken and shattered, but I don't know what else to do um, except to keep working in Pablo's name to help other children and other families and to help the cancer community at large, to be a voice, um, to be a voice.